beautiful, completely not where we thought we would find an no sector at all. How fascinating. Hmm. Quite a beautiful species, aren't you? Wow. Oh good, you're waking up. It is so wonderful to meet you. Well, well, well hey, hey, it's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. It's okay. I just, I wanted to say hi. Yes, haven't you, um, had meetings with other planets, other species and things like that? We just wanted to, you know, sort of make contact with you. That is not something that you were used to. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to harm you. You know, we're not really supposed to speak to people who haven't, um, ventured outside of their world because they wouldn't know about us. But from our research, it looks like you have. Have you really not made contact with any sort of other beings? Oh, well, maybe not that, um, you know. <laughs> Although, who knows what your, uh, your lead might be hiding from you. Anyway, I am so sorry. I did not mean to startle you. I was just um, quite excited to see such a wonderful specimen here in this sector. You see, we, um, we only check these sectors once every 10 to 20,000 years or so. And so the last time we were here, there were no sentient beings. You know, that there was some sort of microbial life and, and things like that, but nothing that might be considered intelligent life. And we were quite surprised to find you. But it is so, so, so wonderful to meet you. Your species has advanced quite quickly. We were doing some uh, genome mapping from some samples, and uh, it seems as though... Your DNA has changed 7% in the last 5,000 years. 7% is a lot. That is a lot of changing in one species. And it is just so wonderful to meet you. <laughs> you are quite strange looking, aren't you? Oh, well, yes, I, I altered my appearance to look a bit more similar to yours so that I wouldn't startle you too much with my actual appearance. <laughs> but I must say, I actually quite enjoy the look of your face here. Yes, the features here on your face, it's quite, quite appealing, really. Fascinating. You know, life evolve so differently on different planets, just depending on the minerals and raw resources, the amount of water, how close they are to the star, and how big they are. You know, planets with bigger gravity tend to have smaller people, because the force of gravity is more intense on them. And smaller planets tend to have bigger people because the gravity is less oppressive, I suppose you could say. So it's quite, quite fascinating. You do rather fit into what we would assume, at least size-wise, for a planet your size. But you have developed in a very streamlined, somewhat simple, but very, very efficient way. It is incredible to see how life develops. And you are absolutely fascinating. It is such an honour to meet you. <laughs> now, would you mind all too terribly if I just used a few tools and things to just get a good look at you? It won't be anything harmful, I promise. I just have a few different sort of uh, tools and scanners and things like that because I would love to just learn as much about you as I possibly can. 
Who knows, maybe this could be the start of an interplanetary relationship between our people or actually intergalactic, but we'll get to that later Anyway, would you mind if I just perhaps took some measurements, some scanning and things like that? <laughs> Thank you. You're not just saying yes because I've got you um, slightly paralysed, are you? I, I just, I didn't know if you were going to be violent and so it's just a procedure when you're meeting a species for the first time to take certain precautions. It, it's not anything against you and it will wear off soon, okay? <laughs> okay, well, um, if you wouldn't mind, I would just like to start out with a very, very simple tool here, alright? This is scanner that will give me some readings on your chemical makeup and such. It's quite a useful little tool, right? It's not going to hurt, you won't feel anything, okay? All you have to do is just try to hold a bit still for me as I scan this. a lot of it, so I suppose that does make sense. Right, fancy. Fascinating. Alright, could you watch the ball for me now as I move it around a bit? Just watch it as it goes back and forth. Back and forth as it goes back and forth. Just watch the ball for me as it goes back and forth. Hmm. Fascinating. That's not really what I was expecting. I'm not sure how so much water can make such a solid creature. <laughs> but that's alright. Do, do you have the ability to phase through physical objects? You know, like like walk through your, your dwelling places and things like that? Hmm. Interesting. Not sure why evolution chose to make you so much water. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Your skin texture, it's um it's quite smooth actually. There's no remnants of anything like scales or reptilian type skin. Hmm. Very interesting. Right. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to use this little sensor here, alright? It's not going to harm you anything or anything. It's just going to go just directly onto your head, alright? It sort of spreads out a little bit. It's, it actually feels quite nice. I'm just going to put this there and it will help me get some data on your neural transmitters and tell me things like the percentage of your brain to the rest of your head all those kinds of things, okay? I just am ever so curious Alright, hold nice and still for me please I'm just going to fix this There, now you might hear a little bit of beeping as that starts is that comfortable? Okay, good, 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 good. I'm so glad. Now, while that is going, would you mind terribly if I got some measurements of you? I've got just a little measuring tape here. Do you do you have something like this in your on your planet? Okay, good. I would just like to take 
some detailed measurements of you, if that's all right, okay, just for my records. Now, would you say that you are of average size for your species? Okay, all right, that is good to know. Okay, yeah. Let me just start with some measurements around your face. So these right here, these are your uh, ocular receptacles, what do you call them? Eyes, okay, and you've got two of them, I see. Do you have any other eyes anywhere? Just the two. You don't have one on the back of your head? Interesting, alright. No, 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 it's perfectly fine. And this right here, this little bump in the middle of your face with the holes in it, what do you call that? Nose, alright. And what do you do with your nose? What is that for? Oh, your olfactory senses, yes? I see, I see, I see, alright, so we have your ocular senses and your olfactory senses. And this obviously is where you speak from. What do you call this, this big hole on your face here? Mouth. Mouth? Mouth. Eyes, nose, mouth. What else do you use your mouth for? Oh, your your sustenance. Oh, I see. Interesting. Right. And what sort of sustenance do you like to eat? Oh. Oh, that's 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 many many things. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Oh, see, my species has evolved. We're just sort of... We, we see sustenance just as a means to an end, I suppose. And so everyone just eats the same thing all the time, and it's very nutritious and very, very uh, sustaining. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's quite nice. It takes out a lot of the guesswork of what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating. And some people actually have the ability to change the taste a bit, but... What you're actually eating stays the same. It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to get some of those measurements all right. Okay. Go. Just going to start. Okay. This ocular sensor. What are they called? Eyes. Okay. This eye over here. Now, when you see. What sort of things do you see? Do you see colours? Okay, good, good, good. What colours am I right now? What colours are you seeing? Okay, good, 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 good. You know, some species evolve where they see more like infrared or ultraviolet or heat-seeking, all of those sorts of things. It's quite fascinating, although your sun seems to be a nice level of brightness where it's not going to burn your eyes all that much. But it also is going to give you most of the full spectrum of light. So that's quite good. Okay, let's get your move here. I'm sorry, what was it? Mouth. Mouth. Right. Mouth. Okay. There we go. There we are. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to get just a few sort of down here, okay? I just want to see what we've got here. These appendages up here by by the closer to the top of you. What do you call those? Arms. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Your arms. Are you considered particularly strong for your species? Okay. What would you say is the average lifespan of your species? Really? That short? 
Ah, that makes it even more interesting that you have evolved so very much. You see, the longer that a species lives, the more that one individual can advance and, you know, help to share their knowledge and wisdom with other members of their species. So, generally we see longer species that um, advance quicker. Hmm. Could you hold out your arms for me? Your arms. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, your arms. Right. Just go. Good, 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 good. Fascinating. What would you say in the last mm, hundred years or so on your planet, what would you say is the greatest advancement that your species has made? Oh. No, yes, that is, that is quite an advancement, I suppose. I mean, it's very technologically advanced, but it's actually quite, well, it can be a bit dangerous, I suppose. It can lead to some backtracking in evolution if it's used incorrectly. I'm, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not really allowed to interfere with your development as a species. I am here simply to observe. <laughs> All right, let's see. Shall we... Ooh. Do your species put much stock in their bibbleflock cat? What do you mean you've never heard of bibbleflocks before? Oh, that's quite interesting. Okay, so I suppose you don't know what this device is then. Alright, don't worry. It's not going to harm you. It's just going to take a reading on your bibbleflock level. Seeing as you don't know what they are, I'm not expecting them to be all that high, I suppose. Interesting. Try that one more time over here. Hmm. Nice and still for me if you can, please. Fascinating. I wouldn't have thought that they would be that high. Hmm. It might actually answer some questions. Oh, no, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to have, have high bibble flocks. Well, I suppose it depends on who you ask. If you ask the greys, they would say that it's not very good. But, uh... Are you aware if, um, if your species has had any contact with other alien species in the past, like, like long ago, that maybe sort of guided your evolution? Are there other sort of stories in your world from ancient times of the gods that had incredible powers, or perhaps sky people? Or star people, or anything like that. Hmm. Curious. It's not someone from the Intergalactic Council, I can tell you that, because I would have a record of that. I wonder if it's those pesky greys again. Hmm. They are so terribly annoying. Hmm? Nothing, don't worry. No, 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 you are doing very, very well. You are a fascinating species. I am just thrilled to be getting all these readings from you. I very much appreciate your cooperation. Right, now I'm going to use another tool here. This is going to help me take some readings of any sort of electromagnetic or extra spectral energies that might be around you. Most species in the known universe of what we know, they do emit a very, very faint amount of energy all on their own. Some species it's higher, some species it's lower. And then, you know, through different techniques people can raise their energies, but 
it is scientifically true that most creatures do emit energy, so I just want to see if I can get a reading of that, okay. These little globes here, I'm just going to put them very close to you. Let's see what they pick up, alright. Okay, now, you don't have to do anything. You can look at them if you would like, or you can just close your eyes, as long as you just hold someone still, please. Fascinating. That is a bit higher than I would have expected as well. Interesting. Right now, if you don't mind, could you follow this little globe with your eyes and ignore this one? It might be a bit tricky because they look exactly the same, but just try the one that I have in this. What did you call this? Um, arm. Arm, okay. Oh, this part is different. Okay, what is this called? Hand. Hand. Alright. Follow the globe in this hand. Ignore the globe in this hand, okay? Just do your best to watch that globe and ignore the other one so that I can get some good reading. Interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Fascinating. Right now, when I say, not yet, but when I say, I would like you to switch. And instead of watching this one, you're going to start watching this one, alright? But not yet. Keep watching the first one for now. Alright, now, switch. Now you should be watching this one and ignoring this one, okay? Just want to see what sort of readings I can get here. What sort of readings I can get? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. You did a quite a good job at watching the one that I told you to watch. Now you can just relax your eyes. You can look at the globes if you would like, but you don't have to anymore. It's up to you where you can. Hmm. That is very, very intriguing. I'm learning all kinds of things about your species. And earlier today, I didn't even know you existed. This is wonderful. This is one of my favourite parts of collaboration between species. I wonder why it is that your species has not been made aware of extraterrestrial yet. Really? Why would they keep secrets from you? Hmm. Interesting. I'm sorry to hear that. Alright, I've got another little light here, okay? It's just a little light. It's, it's a bit bright, but it's not very big. I'm going to just take a very close look into your eyes, alright? So, for now, you can just look right at my nurse here, okay? Nurse? Nose. My nose. This right here, the bumpy thing with the holes. Your olfactory receptor. Okay, just look right at my olfactory receptor here. And I'm just going to get a nice, good look here. 
in through your eyes. Keep looking right here at the olfactory receptor. Okay, yes I know, but that sounds like a silly name, so I'm going to just keep saying olfactory receptor. It is a bit of a mouthful, I understand. Okay, now keep looking at nose, this, this. I'm just going to look on this side, okay? Just keep looking here. Don't look at the light, just... Don't look at the light, I just want to see how your eyes seem to be working for your species. Fascinating. Would you say that this is considered a very bright light, or a medium bright light, or a very dull light? Would you mind now, would you mind terribly, tracking this light with your eyes, okay? So I want you to try to not move your head or your neck, just follow it with your eyes, alright? Just follow the light, just follow that light as I move it around. You see this is a light but it's also a scanner that's going to allow me to Get some different readings about your ocular motor skills, your ocular receptors, how efficient they are, what their strengths and weaknesses are, all that sort of thing. I find it absolutely fascinating how different species evolve differently. And you are quite a fascinating specimen. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, you're doing an excellent job. Okay, I think I can take off this sensor from the top of your head now, alright? Yeah, let me just... There we are. Good. And that will give me all sorts of data. You see each of these little bumps at the edges are actually sensors and scanners and things that will tell me all kinds of good information. It's quite a useful tool. It's also very portable, which is nice. You know, it's funny, I don't even have my full lab with me for dealing with sentient beings, <laughs> because the last time we were here, it seemed as though the projection of your evolution, that it was going to be a while before you actually had a species on your Earth. Is that what you call it? Okay, that's what I thought from my, from my research. On your planet that could create civilization and things like that. As I said, you've advanced very quickly. But luckily I do have some things here, so we can at least sort of get started. Alright, now, if you don't mind, I have another light type of thing here. It's, um, it's not just a light. Again, this is going to be sort of a scanner, okay? It is quite bright. Just so you know. See, it is very, very bright. This one I'm just going to pass over you and it will get some scans, okay? Alright, you can close your eyes, actually, if you want, so that it's not too bright right in your eyes. Go ahead and close your eyes, and I'm just going to pass this round. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to pass it this way. Fascinating. Fascinating. Hmm. I know that one was very, very bright. Okay. Now, this next light is going to blink a little bit, okay? It's a nice red light. I want you to just look right here at the center, okay? Just look right at the center of this blinking light. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to start moving it a bit faster now. 
want you to still just keep your eyes right here, okay? Right in the center of that light. Not actually looking at the light, looking in the center of the light. Hmm. Interesting. 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 This is incredibly fascinating. I'm the first, well, the first person from my species at least, to know that you even exist. This is going to be quite a development for science. It is also going to take some investigation to see how you happen to do evolve so quickly. Fascinating. There we are. Okay, could you just close this eye for me, please? Just keep that eye closed for a moment. Interesting. Okay, now close this eye for me, please. Keep this eye closed. You can keep both eyes closed if you would like. Hmm. Fascinating. Interesting. You know, evolution is funny. Sometimes it doesn't exactly do what we think would be the most, um, efficient, I suppose. But life always finds a way. I suppose not always, but most of the time. Most of the time, life finds a way. Right, now, the last thing that I want to do with you is, um, it's one more sensor. This one does have a bit of a noise to it, but don't let it frighten you, okay? It's not going to actually touch you. It's just, again, a scanner to give me some more information about your chemical makeup, your alchemical makeup, your energy, aura, those sorts of things, okay? Just try to follow this little moving circle, okay? I know it's moving very quickly, just do your best to follow that little circle as it moves around. Just follow that with your eyes. Okay, good. Ignore my hand. Hand. Ignore my hand, okay? Just Look at the little swinging circle there. Just wanting to get some good readings here. Okay. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Right now, I would like you to look at my olfactory receptacle here, okay? Just look here, and then look back at that when I tell you, okay? So look, what, what is this called again? Nose. Okay, so look at my nose, or look at the sensors, what I'll say, okay? Alright, look at my nose. Good, now look at the sensor. Good, now look at my nose. Good, now back to the sensor. Good, now look at my nose. Good, now back to the sensor. Good, now look at my nose. Good, now look at the sensor. Good, now look at my finger. Good, now look at the sensor. Right, now look at my nose. Right, now look at the sensor. Right, now look at my finger. Now look at my nose. Now look at the sensor. Now look at my nose. Now look at my finger. Now look at the sensor. Now look at my nose. Wonderful. Wonderful. You did an excellent job. That is going to give me all kinds of fascinating data. Well, again, thank you so much for a great
agreeing to be so cooperative. <laughs> the next time I come, I will have to make sure that I have my full workspace in my laboratory so we can do all of the different tests that we normally do with a new sentient species. <laughs> now, unfortunately, because your planet has not had contact with outside living beings, unfortunately, I am going to have to wipe your memory. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's, I, I really must insist. I don't want to upset the balance of your societies or in any way alter your natural path of evolution and development. So, it really, really is very important that you forget that you ever saw me. But I do so appreciate how cooperative you were and you are a wonderful Truly, truly fascinating species. I have so very much enjoyed this. It has been a wonderful honour to get to know you a little bit. And the next time that I meet one of your species, it will be with a whole team of me. Don't worry, we won't cause any sort of harm. We are part of the Intergalactic Council, and so we are forbidden from causing harm to anyone from planets and things like that, especially newly developed intelligent beings like yourself. So it's not going to be anything bad at all, we just want to learn. And maybe someday, when you are ready, your species can join the Intergalactic Council too. But I'm afraid I must insist that you um, forget that you've seen me for today. <laughs> I know, I know, it's been quite interesting to get to know you, but I must insist that we don't um, do anything to upset your planet. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you a little light here. I want you to just pick one of these little spots, alright? This one, or this one, or this one. This one, or this one, or this one. I'm just going to move this around. Now, if you'd like to be cheeky and not watch one thinking that it's not going to work, I assure you that it's still going to work. It just might take a little bit longer. But I am nothing if not patient. It's been 20,000 years since I was in this sector before. And it might be, well, hopefully it won't be that long, but I assure you, compared to your very small lifespan. So I'm just going to help to put you to sleep and wipe your memory of this encounter. And then when you wake up, this will not even be a memory. <laughs> Perhaps you'll get remnants of it and think of it as a very strange dream. Until your species is ready, this is the way that it has to be. Thank you for letting me get to know you a little bit. I can't wait to keep learning more about you. Good night, my new little friend. Hopefully I'll see you again.